Question 145. The external ear and tympanic membrane. The in external ear consists of the auricle and the external acoustic meatus, which goes in all the way into the tympanic membrane. The auricle is a folded cartilaginous plate covered uh, with elastic cartilage covered by skin. The skin is more tightly covered on the lateral surface than the medial surface. The skin contains sebaceous glands, numerous in the concha here. And it has uh, a prominent rim called the helix that inferiorly goes into the lobulus. There is uh, not cartilage in the lobulus. And then you have an antihelix here, which divide into the crura antihelices, which border the triangular fossa. This is called the concha, which is encircled by the antihelix. Uh, this is called the tragus. This is the antitragus. And this is the intertragic uh, inter notch. And on the tragus and antitragus, you have strong hairs, especially in male in old age. And you have the external acoustic meatus in blue, which extends from the concha to the tympanic membrane. It is an S-shaped canal, oval in section and the greatest diameter is on its external end. You have a cartilaginous part, the outermost one-third, and the innermost two-thirds are osseous part, or bony part. The cartilaginous part is approximately 8 millimeters, and the bony part is approximately 16 millimeters. Um, Medially, the osseous part is marked by a circular groove called the tympanic sulcus, in which the tympanic membrane is anchored. The osseous part of the meatus is formed by tympanic and squamous parts of the temporal bone. The external acoustic meatus is lined by skin, and also the external surface of tympanic membrane is lined by skin. It is thin and firmly attached to the cartilage and bone. It can, in the cartilaginous part, it contains hair follicles and numerous ceruminous glands producing earwax. And then we have the tympanic membrane, which separates the tympanic cavity from the external acoustic meatus. This is the tympanic membrane. It is uh, placed obliquely, so as to form an acute angle. It is nearly oval in form, and its circumference is thickened, and forms fibrocartilaginous ring, which is fixed in tympanic sulcus. Um, here we have a picture of the tympanic membrane. Uh, the center of tympanic membrane is drawn inwards by attachment of handle of malice. The convexity of the inner surface is called umbo. And the tympanic membrane shows two small folds on its external surface, anterior and posterior malar folds, or clica malaris anterior or posterior. They border the triangular 
par flux i det. And the chief part of the tympanic membrane is called pars tensa. The blood supply of the external ear is branches of the external carotid artery. Uh, the posterior auricular and superficial temporal artery. The meatus and tympanic membrane are supplied by branches of maxillary artery. And then we have the nerve supply. We have the greater auricular and lesser occipital uh, nerves. And also auricotemporal auriculotemporal nerve and auricular branch of vagus nerve.